Peter Nwachuku, the husband of late gospel singer Osinachi Nwachuku, has since Sunday, April 10, been arrested and detained over her demise. The glorious female Igbo voice behind the popular Ekweme song was silenced by death on Friday, April 8, after battling an undisclosed illness for close to three months. Accusing fingers have since then pointed at her husband, claiming she subjected her to domestic violence in their marriage, which produced four children, three boys and a girl. Speaking about her, Mr. Nwachuku said his wife had been ill since November 2021 and he had taken her to two other hospitals in Abuja before the National Hospital where she breathed her last. He, however, did not disclose the nature of her illness. While more revelations are emerging about Mr. Nwachuku, whose case is being treated at the Homicide Department of the State Criminal Investigative and Intelligence Department, SCIID, here are 10 insane things that have been said about him by family, in-laws, friends, and authorities. His name is not Peter Nwachuku. He was born Peter Echijeku Okekenwa. He is a member of Dynamis International Gospel Center, where the senior pastor, Pastor Paul Enenche, consistently taught against domestic violence in marriage. He was born in Omaboma, Newi South, in Anambra State. He distanced his immediate family from his extended family and in-laws and didn't attend his father and father-in-law's burials. Nwachuku didn't inform his wife's family members of her illness and death on time and is yet to inform his family of her passing. He met Osinachi during one of her ministrations and both didn't court before getting married. He was in charge of negotiations and financial expenses as Osinachi's manager, stripped her off money and her cars and also managed her social media accounts. He has not visited his family in 20 years. He was married before seeking Osinachi's hand in marriage. He would hold Osinachi down and have her sons beat her.